Hey, what's happening everybody? Thank you so much for joining me on this one. I'm just getting ready to start my travels. I am at the Lacrosse train station here. We're gonna jump on a train and head to Chicago and start heading towards warmer weather. So please stay tuned and keep coming with me. Thank you so much. All right, what do we got? We got about roughly 10 minutes till the train gets here. I'll be there. Yeah, I'll Sounds put them up on the sledge. Thank you. All right. <laughs> that luggage. That's about 300 pounds worth of luggage, but it's also, uh, what is it? Pasalubong. Right? Okay. So that's, yeah, that's when Filipinos just bring a ton of gifts and all kinds of stuff back to their people and their home country. So it's a really big deal. So what do we got? Like a hundred pounds worth of stuff that we brought back. But it's chilly and I just chugged a piping hot espresso and I'm just about sweating through all my warm clothes. So let's get on this train. Are you guys boarding? Yeah. Part of two? All right, seats 21 and 22. I'd be together. You'll yes. just turn right and go on upstairs. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, well, the train is pretty much right on time, so that's good. So, we'll just get on the train, we'll show the train just a little bit, and then we'll probably touch base back in when we get closer to Chicago. The trains are really tight, but I kind of like them. The trains, the Amtrak trains, actually are a pretty nice way to travel as long as you're not in the biggest hurry. So if you got a little bit of time, jump on a train. It's super spacious. They got food and scenic carts and everything else. So anyways, we'll see you in a little bit. We've got about a four hour train ride. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stroll through the train a little bit and see what uh, Amtrak has to offer and how they roll because I personally think that they're a little underrated um, and a lot of people just don't realize like how decent they can be so let's go check it out. This is the scenic part where you can come and just get a decent view of everything and it is pretty well lit up and at least uh, some sun is shining up in here. If you are interested in the Amtrak experience and or what they have to offer, please stay tuned because I will be making a separate video about my experiences with them. And also, I've always been interested in Amtrak's room cars, so I was able to chat with a conductor who allowed me access to view and tour one of them. Alright, well that was our four hour train ride. We uh, got dropped off in Glenview just outside of Chicago so we can take a Uber or a taxi of some sort to our hotel by the airport and we're flying out tomorrow morning so we're gonna just check this train out that was a good enjoyable experience It's super chilly and I'm ready to get warm. <laughs> okay, so we just took a lift to our hotel. We just booked a very basic hotel that's as close to the airport as we can be because we need to be out of here at like five in the morning. So we're just gonna check in and see what's around the area and we'll catch up soon. Just so many luggages. What did I say earlier? 300 pounds? Look 
luggage mice. All right, so we got to our hotel, checked in. The room is just fine. It's a very basic hotel. We are not gonna spend a lot of time here, so, but it is, it is good for the price. And we're gonna go get something to eat, stay here, leave at probably 5 a.m. and catch a 7 a.m. flight. So uh, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> We're just here shooting pool after a meal. I was actually going to uh, record and show the meal, but I didn't think that it would be video worthy. And it ended up being like one of the best meals that I've had in quite a while, actually. It was like just the best salad with the crazy cheese I've ever even heard of. So, anyways, uh, I should have been rolling the entire time. And now we're just shooting pool and enjoying some time together before we have some serious travels tomorrow. So, definitely. Uh, back tomorrow for sure so have a good night hey oh goodness it is uh 5 30 a.m we're just catching a shuttle to the airport and uh yeah it's just a free service that the hotel offers so we're gonna jump on the shuttle and go to the airport goodness the airport's crazy <laughs> don't have time to do anything and i literally gotta finish myself all right well we made it through security got our bags checked and we're just getting ready to start boarding our plane. I have not actually traveled since COVID-19 or the whole pandemic spiel so uh, things have changed a lot but it's just good that things are moving again. Yeah so it's always extremely stressful especially at the O'Hare airport because it's crazy busy all the time and it is what Saturday the day after Black Friday so people are traveling anyways getting through security is always like really scary and kind of like intimidating but you just gotta power through it and keep moving so we're done with all that let's go uh see the lot or the boarding area and get ready to get on the plane so we're just about to board our first plane and this is in chicago and we're going to san francisco place that's a little more colorful and a little bit warmer and it's just gonna keep warming up each stop we make so we actually just landed in San Francisco which I originally thought we were going to LA but that was my mistake so yeah here we are in San Francisco it's about 55 degrees nice and sunny so uh, it feels good to get some sun and just warm up a little bit and let's keep on moving. All right, well, we're just getting ready. Ooh, let me just fix this a little bit. We are just getting ready to board the international flight to Singapore. So we are gonna be leaving America and I'll tell you what, we are not gonna be having a white Christmas. <laughs> so let's head to warmer territory. It's gonna be about a 17 and a half hour flight to Singapore from San Francisco. So this is gonna be a long one, but with these long flights, you just gotta buckle down. And uh, me personally, I've been eating like a bird for three or four days now. Lots of nuts and seeds and just really good, lively things for my body. I brought a lot of electrolytes and energy drinks with me, and I'm not actually eating anything on the plane because I wanna feel better when I land. And I heard that <clears throat> that all helps. So we're gonna try that so the jet lag's not as torturous as it was last time. And let's go. Well, now, now we finally get to get on the big plane. And so, 
this plane was delayed about 30 minutes but other than that we haven't really ran into any trouble or delays so far so that's a good thing That was a really long flight, 17 hours, uh, quite a bit of turbulence, and even at one point I woke up and thought that uh, <clears throat> something might be going on, but I guess I was just a little freaked out. But all right, we better get off this plane. Should we just go sit in first class? <laughs> sweat through all of this immediately. Oh yeah, wow. That's exactly what I was looking for. Just waiting to, to land, step off the plane, and just be blown away by heat and humidity. That's honestly one of my favorite things, just because I, I like the warm weather. So, yeah, let's, uh, we're gonna just check back in in a little bit. We're gonna kind of scope out the airport. I guess this is one of the, like, one of the best airports in the world, supposedly, so. We'll check it out, see what they got to offer. I'm pretty sure that we can even leave here. And they, uh, they do offer some services like bike rides and stuff, but it's 4 a.m. So I don't know what exactly we'll get to do. But anyways, you better watch out and uh, we'll uh, come back soon. Hey, what's happening everybody? Man, that was a long flight. And there's one thing that I did never did say that I wanted to is that uh, we took an unusual route over here and uh, we flew literally over the entire Pacific Ocean, which is something that I just never done before. So that was really uh, kind of an interesting experience. Lots of turbulence, like I said, but that's all good. We're at the Changi Airport right now in Singapore, and there's just like an amazing garden here. This is just one piece that they have. Yeah, so we're actually, we're laid over here for five to six hours, so we're going to do our best to try to hit everything that we can because we are able to leave here, and they have trains, and they just have stuff that we can access, so we're just going to dip into everything we can. Is this a, a wish pond? Got some good sized fish up in here. Much cooler than just the ordinary, like, basic seats at an airport, anyway, so something to look at. 
All right, well, we're gonna jump on the Sky Train, I guess, because we this airport's just too dang big to be walking around. This is it, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, let's uh, see how this goes. Wow, it is so hot. And the only reason I'm not changing, though, is because we're gonna have to get on another plane for probably three more hours, and planes are always freezing cold. Uh, so I'm just trying to stay warm when I need to. Actually, before I go check out some stuff, I need to find me a shower and get cleaned up, and they do have one, and uh, it is like $16, and uh, supposedly it's decent, so we're gonna go check it out here, and I'll uh, show you guys. But uh, they give your change back in Singapore money, just FYI, which is not really a big deal, so let's just check this out here. Oh yeah, and this is just a straight godsend. Oh man, best $16 I ever spent. I know I just look absolutely terrible, but uh, I have been traveling for a couple days now, so I won't be able to really clean up myself until we get to the Phillies, so to the Philippines when we land in Manila. But check this nice shower out. I mean, it's fairly basic, however, when you're on the road, this is magical. So, anyway, I'm gonna clean up, see what else we can do here, and then we're gonna get ready to board our flight to Manila. So, <laughs> stick around. Yeah, this is the place to come if you ever are in the Singapore airport. Oh God, that felt so good. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I can't do my hair because the humidity is very, very thick here, and it just won't dry. So we just gotta deal with it. Keep rolling. So, we've been uh, having a little trouble just trying to get out of the airport just to go see a couple things. Um, but thanks to this kind man here, he is uh, helping us out. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. He's a boss. I'm not the boss. He's a boss. He's a good dude. So he's helping us out. And uh, so we're going to be able to exit the Singapore airport while we're here for our layover. So we can just check out a couple things and just kill a little bit of time. So that's what we're going to do. Hey, good looking. Wow, you got a good person. Hope you're taken care of. Have a good night. God bless. Love one another. Love you. Okay, Bye. really quick. Just really quick. Why? This is Top Gunter. He is the best assister I've ever seen. So, thank you, thank so you much. sir. Have a, have, a, have a good rest of your day. Yeah. Thank you. So I am pretty beat up from all these travels, and I haven't hardly slept much at all this whole last few days. But that's okay, because when we get to Manila. Eventually, I'm gonna crash out and get some much needed rest, but for now, please just work with me and I'm still at the airport in Singapore and I'm just gonna show a couple things here because it's just really cool. There's a bunch of vegetation all over the walls and then we did just get access to leave. So we were able to just go check out a couple neat touristy things that are around here, so we will be doing that. But I'm just gonna show a couple things around this airport. We got some palm trees. We got just wildness all over the walls and all that is live it's pretty mind-blowing actually and now we're gonna go check out the vortex waterfall so that will be coming up next all right. jewel that's what we've been looking for so we're just gonna keep trying to find it all right well what we have been looking for is actually Shido Forest Valley. I may have pronounced that wrong, but anyways, this is just a giant garden with a big old waterfall, a vortex waterfall that comes down. And we saw it earlier on the train, but right now it's all shut down because honestly, I don't even know what time it is. Um, so, so I apologize for that. I was hoping this would be going, but I guess it's not going right now. But it's still really amazing. It's very beautiful. There's all kinds of lights. I mean, peaceful music. It is still cool. It's just not lit up and super happening like I'd like it to be. 
He's out. Look at him. Crazy. Look at this snail. He's beautiful. I love little creatures. It's rare that you see them out like that too. So this place is cool. Unfortunately, we did find out what time it is. It is 11.22 p.m. and all this shut down at 10 p.m. And we just saw it still rolling right before, uh, it must have been right before 10, before we showered and stuff. So anyways, I apologize. We're not gonna be able to see that uh, this trip, but uh, next time for sure. And I guess let's go try to find something else cool around here. it was fish. I literally thought there were fish swimming. I was just like a block away and I could see these things moving. I thought I didn't know what it was actually. But that's what it is. Kinetic rain. Ooh, this is the shower I was talking about. <laughs> it's something, that's for sure. I swear, it's like just me hanging out in Singapore. <laughs> and the airport is like the size of a city. It's crazy. If we got out of here for a little bit, it's uh, pretty late, kind of too late to do most things and it's dark so that kind of stinks, but that's okay. We still were able to see some stuff and now it's 2 a.m. and I am just about ready to board my flight and head to the Philippines. Uh... <laughs> I guess uh, just remember if you do travel to an Asian country or somewhere else, they just might have different plugins, so you're probably gonna need an adapter. Luckily, my wife does have an adapter, but yeah, those are weird plugins, that's for sure. Not the regular. All right, well, my wife strongly suggested that I uh, check these bathrooms out and then filmed it as well. And I checked, and I don't think anybody's in here, but um, wow, these are the nicest bathrooms I've ever seen. This is in the Singapore airport. Yeah, it's like first class. It's crazy. Toilet paper's different. Toilets, even a little spot that you hang your baby. <laughs> Now finally, we're just a little bit delayed, but now we're finally going to catch our last flight heading to the Philippines! Alright, so we just landed down into the Philippines in Manila. We're gonna go through immigration and we're gonna get our bags and we're gonna get the heck out of airports finally. Probably stop by a bus station, but either way, we're gonna get out of here and start going to see some real stuff. So let's go do that. <laughs> gotta go nice and easy with these heavy bags. The funniest thing though is we brought a cooler with all kinds of food and stuff from from Wisconsin, really. And uh, <laughs> we didn't know if it would survive or not, but we just saw it. So we're just waiting for it to come back around and I'll grab it. And uh, we're gonna get out of here. Finally get out of some airports. There she is. <laughs> Here's our baby. Just kind of mangled, but she made it. All right, she's locked. Still gotta have everything in it, man. So unfortunately, um, I just ran into a little trouble with immigration and uh, 
I do not have my marriage paperwork here, so I had to pay in order to stay a little bit longer, over 30 days, because we're going to be here around 60 days. So anyways, that was kind of a downer, but it's okay, and it's just all part of it. And one other thing that I'd like to share is uh, before you leave the airport, it's good to exchange a little bit of money. Um, if the exchange rate is good, then I guess you can exchange as much money as you want, but it's recommended to exchange the money outside of the airport where you get a better exchange rate. Okay, so got the money, got the paperwork, so we're good to go. Uh, change really quick, we're heading out of the airport and heading to the bus station. We're gonna go get some food and just get the heck out of airport, so let's go. It is 80 degrees and it's about eight in the morning, just FYI, that's how toasty it is around here. This is the Pasaluba bag. <laughs> I'm surprised we got all of us in here. Jeez. <laughs> bus station so we're gonna catch a bus but before we do that we're gonna go to a pretty well-known restaurant which is uh, called Jolly Bee it's kind of fast food I don't really eat a lot of fast food but I'm still gonna try it and we're gonna go in there and we're gonna see what they got because I heard they got good chicken so let's go check it out this here is the biggest bee I've ever met in my life and this is Jolly Bee <laughs> If you have not heard of Jolly Bee and or are interested in finding out more about them, please stick around because I will also be making a separate video about my experiences visiting that restaurant. Alright, so we wrapped up the Jolly Bee business and I'm still currently in Manila and we gotta get out of here. I, I like being here for a short period of time but it's too busy and just too much traffic and busyness. So we're gonna head up north-north, like way, way northern Luzon. So I'm gonna see what we got for bus tickets here and we'll go from there. Mostica. I go see Wes. <laughs> Mahirap yun ko! I am from the U.S. Wisconsin. Salamat. I'm trying to go to San Fernando. What's that? 11 o'clock? And that's from that bus that we want to take. At 11? 11 o'clock? Okay, and it's 10.13. Alright, so, uh, two, please. You're so jolly back there. Just dancing. Where's the jolly being mascot at? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Alright. These are Filipino pesos. Bam. Thousand, thousand dollar bills right there. <laughs> Actually, equivalent to about 20 US dollars. Okay. So we got that and then um, Salamat. Alright, alright. I was trying to get a first class bus ticket. However, the first class bus ain't rolling out until 9 o'clock tonight and it's like 10 a.m. So we're not waiting for that. We're just taking a regular bus. Oh yeah, there's the sun. Oh, the sun. Salamat. <laughs> All right, well, I did get some bus tickets to get out of Manila. And I will be coming back here eventually, however, I do kind of want to show how crazy the traffic is. It's really busy. A lot of it is very similar to this area, so just check it out. We'll walk through just a little bit of it. Hopefully not get harassed too much, but these are all pretty good people. Right there, that is a notorious jeepney. It's an old military vehicle that Filipinos use to get around at an extremely affordable price, like cents, to get a ride across town or wherever they need to go. 
man, check out these power lines. That looks like it could get messy. <clears throat> oh, look at this old Gee. What a nice ride. And I'm not even kidding. And just so everybody knows, everything I say, I mean it with the most respect possible because I absolutely love this place and I plan on spending much more time here. But it is just about time to catch that bus so that's what I'm going to do and we're going to start working our way up Luzon and I'm going to go stay pretty far up in Luzon in a province called La Union. So please stick with me. Thank you for joining me. Buses are sketchy. Well, this is a very basic economy Filipino bus, and it's still not bad. Where's all the people at? Coconut. Jeepney just packed full of folks. Probably close to halfway to where I'm going to up in northern Luzon. We're just at a little bus stop. This place is crazy busy and there's a lot of people around so I'm going to try to respect people but I'm also going to show what's happening here. Just all kinds of snacks and anything that you could really want is pretty much available. Vendors, just all kinds of stuff so we'll take a quick look at it, kind of walk through and I apologize it's very noisy. Just a little bit. You guys got some amazing stuff. I'm gonna walk through and just see what's all here. You got some good stuff now. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, just all over the place. It's just unreal. It's pretty overwhelming actually what you can get <laughs> at a, just a little bus stop. Look at this. Hello sir. Uh what? I'm just kind of looking right now. Okay. I don't know if what what's your best thing that you got here? Best thing here? This one. This one? Yeah. What is that? Uh, that is a kare kare. Kare kare. They call it kare kare. Are you blogging? Kare kare. Yeah. Can I taste just a little bit? I don't yeah. know if I'll like it. 
Okay, you taste. I'll taste. Okay, you taste the Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. You buy it. Alright, alright. So we're gonna give this a little yeah. shot here. And this is what was it again? Kari Kari. Is there peanut butter in there? I can taste I can taste the peanut butter. That is a big actual portion of this stuff. And what is this? Is this pork? Pork. Pork? Yeah. Satisfy you. It is different. It's something, something that I couldn't eat a lot of. There we are. I'm out of here. Back here. What is your name, sir? Mario. Mario. Yeah. Mario. Bus. Yeah. Up the pool. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just on the bus. <laughs> the reason up though. Who's the other one? You can say hello. Hello. Mario from Mario. Baguio. Yeah. He's the man. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you betcha. Look at Colts just like fighting on the side of the road. <laughs> As soon as the video is posted, I will leave a link in the description below. So please stay tuned. <laughs> Wherever they want to be. Okay. All right. So we did just arrive up in uh, San Fernando, La Union, in the Philippines. And I am just completely wiped out. We have been traveling nonstop. I've gotten hardly any sleep in like four days. So we're just going to go crash, rest, take care of ourselves a little bit but we will be back and we'll be tearing stuff up. So just keep coming with me on Westlife. And thank you so much for just sticking with us this long. So. All right, bye.